Hey, 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 welcome everybody to another week of our coast to coast training. If uh, you take a good look behind us, we are getting a ton of snow. This is a uh, day two of uh, snow. Uh, it's beautiful. It's amazing. It's new to us. Uh, we did some, uh, we did some new exercises. Very interesting cross training this week, <laughs> such as this. hauling and stacking wood, firewood. Yeah. And uh, snow shoveling. Mm -hmm. uh, which uh, is all, uh, all of that's uh, new to us. <laughs> uh, firewood here is a primary uh, source of uh, heat. For so, us, yeah. Yeah. So, uh, you know, you got to have wood. We had a delivery, uh, really awesome. And then we uh, stacked it, got it ready. And then um, we uh, had to buy a snow shovel. Yeah. So, uh, I don't remember if we've talked about this, but... Our house here, the area that we live in is kind of a, it's largely like vacation homes. It's kind of a resort area. Mm -hmm. So the houses here come furnished for the most part when you buy them. Yeah. Ours was only like semi-furnished, which was nice because, yeah. you know, we have a house yeah. full of furniture <laughs> our already furniture. to our names. <laughs> um, and one of the things that was left was a snow shovel. And we thought, oh, great. A snow shovel, it is a piece of trash. <laughs> yeah. Now that we've actually tried to use yeah, it, right. it's a hunk of junk. <laughs> yeah. So we bought a nice fancy new one. It's actually more like a plow. Yeah. <laughs> We're just shoving stuff out of the way mm -hmm. instead of like having to chuck it. Mm -hmm. So I think we'll, if we get one more of those, then we can both tackle the driveway at the same time. And I think it won't be that bad. Of course, everybody keeps telling us we haven't really had snow yet. Yeah, apparently this, this is, is just, nothing. Uh, yeah, this is nothing. No, don't worry, it's this coming. This is nothing. <laughs> but uh, that was pretty good. I mean, you yeah. know, it, it was something necessary, but also uh, mm -hmm. it, it was a pretty good exercise, a new kind of thing. Mm -hmm. um, uh, today, uh, we wanted to get this video out. We have yet to go for our run, but we are going yeah. uh, because it'll be. It's been over two weeks since I've run. Mm -hmm. And I want to try out uh, how I'm feeling, so we're gonna we're gonna head to the uh, uh, the the gym and use the treadmill and uh, try to I'm gonna try to run at least three miles, mm -hmm. and if I feel good, we're gonna keep going for uh, a little bit more. Don't want to overdo it, but I, right. I certainly want to uh, want to see how I'm doing because we have just what like, like six weeks or five weeks at this point yeah. maybe uh 30 some odd days we're yeah we're pretty oh it must be five weeks we're very close we are very close so we're gonna see how he does today um Millie bird 
Coach is asking for high fives. You're doing great, Dad. Uh, continue. I'll be right back. <laughs> so we're going to... Oh, guys. <laughs> Good. <laughs> All right. I'm going to keep going. Uh, so we're going to try to run today a little bit. David's groin has been feeling better. Um, he's been doing some hilly walks going forwards, not walking backwards. Uh, so things are going better. We're going to try a little run today. And if that goes okay, we're going to try for a longer run next week because we haven't run double digit mileage in like two months. Yeah. We, we went really hard at the beginning of our training and then we just fell off the wagon um, for a variety of reasons. You know, but I, I feel good about it because back mm -hmm. then we hadn't uh, really even gotten close to acclimating to mm -hmm. the elevation. And now, no. you know, we're, we're pretty acclimated to elevation. So I'm, you know, I'm nervous, but I'm not worried. I'm nervous about doing it on a treadmill because that's what we're going to be doing. We're not going to be running in this no. and we're probably going to have this next week and the week yeah. after and yeah. forever. Um, I'm nervous about being on a treadmill for that long, but you know, whatever. I I'll like just, just like set all, up the intervals and yeah. just <clears throat> yeah, hang out there for a few hours. Just like all this stuff is new to us. That'll mm, be new to us. That's also you know, new some other things yeah. that uh, uh, we were told to do and we have done. Uh, uh, people are recommending that we buy mm. crampons. I don't know if you know what crampons are, but they're little spikes that uh, uh, cramp on to your uh, shoes. Uh, because you don't want to uh, fall. Yeah, we unfortunately know somebody who fell this week shoveling snow and is pretty injured. Yeah. Um, and we don't want that to be us. Yeah, right. Because, mm. again, we don't know what we're doing No. Nope. And then we also uh, purchased some uh, walking uh, poles. Oh, yeah, just got some trekking poles. <clears throat> so when the snow gets a little bit deeper and we start going snowshoeing, uh -huh. we'll have something to help us uh, with that. That's new to us, you know, and they mm -hmm. have uh, different baskets, which uh, we learned are the tips. We learned know. that word <laughs> in this regard. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so we've done that and, uh, yeah. you know, just a lot of new stuff, uh, but we are still in the midst of training. And if you've been following along on our Instagram account, uh, we had some issues with our uh, registrations, uh, which was a little disconcerting. So, you know, we have a registration. Each of us has a registration for the half marathon at Disney World. And then each of us has a registration for the half marathon at Disneyland. And, you know, like you uh, who may be participating in one or both of those or uh, dopey, goofy, whatever, uh, we got emails saying, hey, you need to sign your digital waivers. So when we logged in, our registrations were gone. Actually, when I logged in, my registration was there, but I couldn't sign the waiver. It said, send to Laura. And... Um, when I would try to send it, it'd say, hey, you can't enter, you're logged in with that email address, you can't send it. So their answer is, and I absolutely do not put any fault on uh, the folks handling the contacts, like handling the emails and handling the phone calls, but they're being told to tell us that we have multiple accounts, which is ridiculous because I've been using the same email address for 10 years for Disney stuff. Yeah. I don't have multiple accounts. Yeah. I think what's happening is on the back end, if somebody else registers you, so whether it's, you know, David, David getting in first and registering both of us, or in this case for the Disney World, we each had um, friends buy our, uh, uh, get our registrations for us. Thank you. Thanks, friends. Thank you, Riley. <laughs> Thank you, Chris and Breezy. Uh, yeah. Riley Reads and Runs and Resting Easy with Chris and Breezy. Yeah, yeah. Thanks, guys. Yeah. Um, but I think something about that action in their system makes it look like on the back end we have a separate account. Oh, but yeah. we don't because we're always registering with yeah. the same email address. Yeah. So Disney, run Disney Engineering if you're listening. Something's going on in the back end that you need to fix and Please. stop telling us yeah. to, to stop creating <laughs> multiple accounts uh, because we're not doing that it's kind of funny it's really frustrating it's kind of funny the the first reply to any tech support uh issue is is almost like telling somebody well have you rebooted your computer yeah it's like, yeah that, that's not it anyway yeah. it was kind of uh, weird because when i logged in it said you have no upcoming events These i mean were both gone they were gone yeah. and i'm like oh and man. they were there previously so uh there was a it wasn't an easy fix because it just like it was a circle both of us of, went in a loop yeah both it, of us. it was it was bad but resolved. Thank you, Tony from Tech Support. He called, I talked to him, and in four minutes, he uh, resolved mine uh, and yours. Because mm -hmm. I asked him, hey, you know, my wife's having a problem. And so it was really awesome to talk to somebody. Uh, we have it resolved, so yay. 
We are getting close. Oh man. So yeah. uh, you're not going to get to see our running footage today. Wish us luck. It would just be on a treadmill anyway. <laughs> yeah. We showed you that footage last week. It'll look exactly yeah, the same. Yeah, enjoy the footage of us uh, walking <laughs> in the snow, piling wood and uh, snow shoveling. Yeah. Uh, but oh, next goodness. week we will let you know how it goes today because we are about to head out. Uh, we're going to jump in our uh, in our uh, all-wheel drive vehicle and brave the snow to get to the treadmill. Oh boy, you know what? Seriously, it is always an adventure with you. We'll update you next week. Update! We went running before we got our video put together. <laughs> Three miles. Yeah. Any pain? No, no pain. It feels a little tender. Uh, like I can tell it's there, but it doesn't hurt. So. Eh? Long run Saturday, next Saturday. Yep, gotta. Oh, jeez, the gotta, sun. Yeah. Gonna, gonna exercise it all week long. Keep doing those exercises yep. for it, and then hope that long run, a long run Saturday is uh, not long pain Saturday. Yeah. Hey, but still, good news. Yay! <laughs>